Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another replay video. Today we are back with the B-Sides tournament of the Yukio Netherlands versus Belgium. And today I have two very special players. I have one of my friends, Luc Vraag, in the top here, Epic Out. And in the bottom we have Robin Nagels from Team Belgium. And they will be facing off today. Um, unlike the match that we previously had from the B-Sides tournament, both of these players chose some meta-competitive decks. So, I'm very excited to see what was hap what's going to happen in this duel. Uh, I have no special guest today. Someone will return. Uh, someone will come for the next replays, of course. Um, today we have this one. Tomorrow we will be playing possibly the last round of the quarantine edition for the uh, top players. And yeah, let's just go straight into this duel. We have Orcust, featuring some dangers and some scraps, versus an Invocation and a Glass Bell, so we have to assume this is an Invoked deck featuring the Wind Witches. Quite an interesting choice from Team Belgium here. Something that we have not, I have not seen in a while. So we have a Scrap Recycler, that's a good starter. We have two Extenders of the Dangers. We also already have the Babel, so we are pretty set on, the, on Luke's end. And on the bottom, um, this is not really good. Um, it's good that he's going second because he gets to have the extra draw, of course, for the draw phase. Uh, because he really needs that card at this point. Because this can stop Luke for a while, but if he doesn't have any plays, then, you know, where is this gonna go? So, let's see what Luke will do here. I believe he will summon the Scrap Recycler, which of course will be met by the Effect Fader. Setting the Field Spell, revealing the Jackalope. It's gonna discard the skeleton, draw the Allure of Darkness. Good pickup there. It's a pretty good pickup. Uh, instead of just going for the Allure, he's gonna go for the Scrap Place immediately. Oh, he's actually. He's just gonna pop the Allure. That's quite. Oh no, wait. He has to. He summons one monster back. I totally forgot this effect. Scrap Wyvern, summon a monster back from the graveyard, special summon it, and then destroy a card you control. So you destroy your own Scrap Recycler. And then if a face of scrap monster is destroyed by a card effect, you control this monster. Special summon one scrap monster from your deck, which he will do now. And then destroy one card on the field. So I believe that he is still destroying his Allure of Darkness. He still is interesting play. I maybe activated the Allure to dig for something else. Or maybe Luke just went for the safest route and did not want to lose his scrap golem right there. But yeah, interesting to see what Luke is going for. Summoning Golem, summoning Recycler back again, being met with another effect failure. I can only imagine how Luke was feeling at this point. So that's gonna end Luke's turn. Oh no, he's gonna make an, ap an IP. I was thinking he was going to make an Appaloosa with three monsters, but he's going for the Mad Mascarina instead. And on the bottom half we have Robin picking up the Pot of Desires. That's a really, really good pickup. There are no hand traps in Luke's hand. Picking up the secrets at the site. Site is not so good. Secrets is allowing for two additional drills. Which can come in quick. He's not even gonna go for the blue boy. Or maybe he's just gonna go for the bell. It's also an option. So here we knowledge. Then we lightning storm. Which will be met by the response of Luke. 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 Not sure what the correct English pronunciation would be of the IP because he will summon the Appaloosa now. She will do. And now because it is summoned with IP's effect, it will not be destroyed by card effect. That's a good play from Luke. Two counters. Then he will reveal the Ice Bell, which will be negated by the Appaloosa, which is also a good play because he can just summon the level four. Um, even though there will be no effect of Glass Bell, you can just Synchro Summon and kick over Appaloosa. So this is a good line of play right here, setting the side and the Invocation. Passing turn. Luke picking up Succession to summon another Scrap Wyvern from the Grave, or Scrap uh, Monster from the Grave. Summoning the Golem first to summon back the Recycler, to use the Recycler to be ashed once again. Uh, Luke has, have, has had no place that went through summoning the phoenix. Oh, that's fun. I did not know he had the side set, but he is popping the invocation instead for the additional draw. 
in this easy effect. Picking up into the void, which will not help him here because he does not have enough cards in his hand to activate. We'll proceed to the battle phase, just attack with what he has. And turn, picking up there can, only, there can be only one. Still not a starter, revealing Ice Bell once again in hand, being negated. Now Luke can activate into the void, picking up some Orcus cards. And another danger. Discarding the Snick. Should be summoned in defense, but oh well. It's got to get linked away anyway. For the Kalatea, so now there's actually a Orcus monster on the field for Luke, which took like 20 turns. It's gonna attack with everything. Except Appaloosa because it is zero. Galatea's effect to set Crescendo here. Maybe it would have been a better idea to search for return at this point to send back the Bombard to draw to dig a little bit deeper into that deck, but like going for Crescendo is fine as well. Summoning the Galatea, and at this point there can be only one is flipped, and I really wonder why it was not flipped on the effect of Galat or on the summon of the first Galatea. Because otherwise you could have just made the Gearsu anyway. But oh well. It's not gonna get punished because there's another invocation picked up, and that's at the end of the game. Let's see if Robin has some actual place in this this duel. Oh god. <laughs> so Robin has the Alester finally, so we will be seeing the invoked cards. This duel sent secrets which will come in handy with the Alester. There can be only one. Lancia for Luke's turn and Sight. And Luke on the other hand has one, two, three <laughs> starters with the Foolish Burial. Um, this time, because of the last duel, Luke wasn't sending any cards to the grave. This time he will be catching up for that. Turning off with the Recycler, which is immediately being chained by the Lancia. So now Luke has the option to send any other card to the grave. Like the Jet Synchron. Setting one card. <laughs> Yeah, we were talking about this on uh, Discord with a friend, uh, because now he will summon the golem and he will pop the foolish and we were like, if he's popping foolish, then his hand must be insane. And well, as we can see at this point, it's still pretty good because all those cards are foolish burial. Making a way for the lip, which is a new card from Dual Overload. You can only be linked summoned while you have a world, chalice, world legacy card in your graveyard which is World Want. You can only use each of the following effects once per turn. During your main phase, you can set one World Legacy spell trap directly from your deck, but it cannot be activated this turn. Well, you control no World Legacy monster. Okay. Weird wording. If this Link Summoned card is sent to the graveyard, you can shuffle one card on the field into the deck. Pretty good effect. It's gonna add another counter trap, I believe. It's gonna have World Legacy Succession instead, sure, that's fine. To extend even further. This card once per turn. Oh, it's not even... It's not even that once per turn, it's just... <laughs> not hard once per turn, it's just once per turn, so it can use its effect again. Ending on an IP, an Ellip, and a Scrap Wyvern, so he has a lot of options to go to. He can make the Appaloosa, he can make the Unicorn. So here, secrets, I think the knowledge, summoning Alistair, using his effect, which is being chained to by IP. This is a really good play from Luke here. Uh, it's kind of a gamble. If he has the other Alistair, then of course this would not be so good, but you have to take that risk because this is so important. He already added the knowledge, he added the invocation. Uh, he discards the gear, so <laughs> at this point in the Discord we were again like, what the hell, how good was his hand if he had like, Wyvern, Foolish, and the Gearsu. Uh, drawing a card for the Unicorn, pretty good. Setting three back row. And it just doesn't seem like Robin can do that much at this point. Recycler being summoned. <laughs> a no in the chat <laughs> for the red reboot there. Really nice. Negating the there can be only one. 
And at this point, Luke is free to do whatever he needs. A sanctum is being set, which does not matter. A curse being summoned. Being extended. Um, he doesn't have to play around in Biru because he already has the invocation and the knowledge. Uh, people in the chat were saying better have it, but if uh, I'm not sure if uh, Luke knew it, but uh, he was safe for Nibiru. Anyway. Oh no, wait, because maybe he would have set one of these. So maybe he should have been playing around Nibiru. Maybe that would have been more correct, because I think he could make an up loose and still have game at that point. But the better have it mentality works out, and he just attacks for game. Which was a really, really quick replay. Really sad of Robin. He really could not do anything here, honestly. Uh, that's a loss for Team Belgium, so we're currently 1 1 in the B sides tournament. And yeah, I believe the next match of this tournament will be on Saturday, which you, of course, can see on this channel. I'm gonna take a real quick look to see if I know the names already. It's gonna be. Bo versus Remco, which should be interesting. Uh, I hope they're gonna bring some spicy decks because no offense to Luke or Robin, but these are some safe picks. You know, I want to see some. I want to see some spice in there. I want to see the. I want to see the uh, structure deck from ten years ago being played with that new uh, engine, whatever. Um, but yeah, some that was a good replay. So shout out to Luke. Shout out to Robin. And thank you guys for such a quick <laughs> round. <laughs> yeah. This was way better than yesterday's video where I had to talk half an hour about cards that nobody knew. So congratulations, Luke, and we will be seeing you in the next round. And thank you guys for watching, and we will see you guys in the next episode. Adios.